Hi everyone. Today we are checking out Stand-In from WeChat, a smart framework that can turn a single image into a high quality video. Whether it's a person, cartoon, or even a toy, Stand-In keeps the identity consistent while bringing it to life. So you can make consistent character with it. So it works with community Loras too. So you can style a face swap easily. So it comes with a preprocessor node. So it's super useful to integrate in your workflow, but we can use it as a Lora as well. I'll show you how. So as you can see, this is the GitHub page of Standin, and you can do so many things. So face swap style. So Standin is a light plug and play framework preserving video generation. So here are a few examples. So if you take a picture and just write a prompt, it will make it and be consistent. So you can make anime as well and uh, Laura Ghibli style videos as well. So this is face swap, okay? So they can do post guided video generation as well with face, okay. So here's a quick to-do list and everything. So here's Kajai's van video compete. So over here is, as you can see right over here, stand in. So here's the model. This is the LoRa. We can use it. Uh, if you want the FP16, you can download FP16. If you have VRAM, you can use FP32. So you just have to go to configure then go to your models folder, models folder, then go to Loris and just paste it over here. That's it, nothing else. So this is an example. Looks pretty decent and good, but it's not perfect. As you can see, the man has been cut into half. Okay, and this took like 20 to 30 seconds. No, not 20, at least two minutes. So I'm doing 81 frames. So here's the width and the height. So here's the LoRa that we just downloaded. As you can see, uh, text to video 14B version. So we're using the text to video van 2.1. So the 2.2 support has not been released yet. And Torch compiled settings for less VRAM. And we're using the Light X2 volt as well for faster generation and enhanced node and this is the sampler settings and all first let's see the prompt a woman sitting in the front of pottery wheel hands covered in wet clay she passes her work and look at the you get it i just copied it from here to see if it's accurate or not okay and this is the negative prompt and this is the settings. We're using DPM plus plus one CFG as we're using light X. And let's try age shift now. The previous video that I showed was five. I'm using this seed consistent fixed. So video generation doesn't. So I've updated the workflow just to see her face because I was trying so many pictures. So the background was not changing at all. It was just remaining the same. So as you can see, this is the new workflow, the version two, if you want to say. So here you get only the face if you want the face consistent, just the face. If you want the background, just remove the nodes or just do it like this and close the nodes and just connect this image. Let me show you guys. Just go on here. Just connect this image for you if you want the background as well. Okay, so this works better with consistent images, but you want other backgrounds and everything else. So this is the text prompt. A graceful young woman sits in front of a wheel holding a paintbrush. Examining a work leaning at Delegate, she's wearing a white dress and the same text. Laura 
and everything. I'm using five shift and four steps in this. So here it is. So everything changed apart from a face, as you can see, but the face is also not 100% accurate. I can say it's like 80% accurate. Um, mm -hmm. As you can see, there are many example over here as well. So as you can see, Elon Musk, this is the face swap version, and this is the normal version. Okay. So we saw this example earlier as well, like Harry Potter will. Um, and you can choose the poses as, well, as you can see. So, but not in this workflow. You'll need another workflow for the poses and all. So you can do animated non-human subjects as well. So I copied this prompt right over here for the, uh, this one as you can see. So I did this random. If you want, you can fix it now and just do it 44. This was just for testing. Good things. Okay, now let's take another example. So here is another photo. If you want consistent face, I think portrait images, which just uses the face, works better than a full photo. You get what I'm saying, right? So here it is, here's the photo. Here's the video, sorry. And it looks pretty good. I'm not going to this one. The face is accurate. He is painting and this is DPM++. Now I'll check out UniPC as well. So here it is. Okay. So as you can see, not much of a difference between the both. Let me, I've downloaded the DPM++ version. So let me show you guys side by side. If there's any difference you, you would like to see or not, so here it is. Let me just on repeat. Here's the thing. I don't see much of a difference. You can use anything. So this is the video done. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this type of video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe on our channel, and peace.